What if I told you that the most powerful dam on the planet could soon be overshadowed by one twice its size? Yes, you heard that right. A dam so colossal, it could power almost half a continent. This isn't a concept from a futuristic sci-fi novel, but a real project being planned right now. And the country behind this ambitious endeavor might surprise you. It's not one of the usual suspects like China, America, Japan, or Australia. This record-breaking project is the brainchild of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. If you're scratching your head, let me fill you in on the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's the second largest country in Africa and the 11th largest in the world. With a population larger than Germany, France, or the United Kingdom, it's home to 95 million people. Not to mention, it boasts a spectacular range of wildlife, including elephants and chimpanzees. Now, it's easy to confuse the Democratic Republic of the Congo, also known as the DRC, with its neighbor, the Republic of the Congo. Both share French as their official language, Christianity as their predominant religion, and were named after the same river, the Congo River, which forms a border between them. But the Democratic Republic of the Congo is where our story unfolds. This country is not just large in size and population, it's also home to one of the largest rivers in the world, the Congo River. A river that doesn't get as much attention as it probably deserves and is set to be the site of Africa's $80 billion mega dam. Now that you're acquainted with the Democratic Republic of the Congo, let's dive into the heart of our story, the Congo River. Trust me, it's more than just a river. It's a force of nature that could soon be harnessed to power a continent. The Congo River, the future site of Africa's $80 billion mega dam. A site to behold, yet often overlooked. This river, one of the planet's largest, tends to be overshadowed by its more famous counterparts, the Nile, the Yangtze, and the Amazon. But in terms of depth and discharge volume, the Congo River holds its own. Picture the deepest point of the Congo River. It sits an astonishing 200 meters below the surface. This is deeper than the tallest buildings in Brazzaville and Kinshasa, stacked on top of each other. Yes, you heard that right. This river could swallow those towering structures and still have room to spare. Now, let's talk about discharge, the measure of how much water flows along the river every single second. The Congo's discharge volume is a sight to behold. It's 10 times greater than that of the Nile and one and a half times that of the Yangtze. It's true, the Amazon still holds the record for the greatest discharge. But the Congo River is not far behind. But the Congo River's most remarkable feature is yet to be discussed. A mere stone's throw down river from Brazzaville and Kinshasa, you'll find a 15-kilometer stretch of water known as the Inga Falls. Here, the river drops nearly a hundred meters, creating a massive expanse of powerful, fast-moving water. It's technically the world's largest waterfall, though this title does stir some controversy. This stretch of the Congo River, with its immense power and unyielding force, is the perfect site for harnessing hydroelectric power. It's no wonder then that it has been chosen as the site for the Mega Dam, a project that will dwarf even the Three Gorges Dam in China. With such immense power and potential, it's no wonder the Congo River has been chosen as the site for the Mega Dam. Imagine a dam that could harness the energy of the Congo River, the world's deepest river, and use it to power almost half a continent. This is not a fantasy, but an ambitious plan by the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a nation known for its vast landscapes and diverse wildlife. The proposed mega dam, named the Grand Inga Project, has the potential to generate a staggering 40,000 megawatts of electricity. That's twice the power output of China's Three Gorges Dam, currently the world's largest hydroelectric power station. The Grand Inga project could light up homes, power industries, and stimulate economic growth across Africa. But as with any project of this magnitude, it's not without its challenges. The estimated cost stands at an eye-watering $80 billion. That's a hefty price tag, even for the wealthiest nations. 
for the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a country grappling with economic instability, the financial burden is a significant hurdle. Then, there's the environmental impact. While hydroelectric power is a cleaner alternative to fossil fuels, the construction of such a colossal dam would disrupt the Congo River's ecosystem. It could affect the river's flow, alter habitats, and potentially endanger local wildlife. Balancing the need for clean energy with the preservation of the Congo's unique biodiversity is a delicate task. Furthermore, there's the question of displacement. Large dam projects often require the relocation of local communities, a process fraught with social and ethical implications. The government and project planners have a responsibility to ensure that those affected are treated fairly and adequately compensated. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of the Grand Inga project are undeniable. It could transform the Democratic Republic of the Congo into a powerhouse of renewable energy, bring electricity to millions of people, and drive the African continent towards a sustainable future. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is on the verge of a record-breaking endeavor that could revolutionize its energy sector and the entire African continent. The Mega Dam, a project of titanic proportions, is a beacon of hope and a symbol of challenges for the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Let's start with the economy. The mega dam, once operational, is forecasted to generate an enormous amount of electricity, enough to power nearly half a continent. This could be a game changer for the DRC, a country that currently faces significant energy shortages. The surplus energy could be exported to neighboring countries, potentially turning the DRC into a key player in the African energy market. It's a prospect that has the potential to revitalize the economy. But the mega dam is not just about power generation. The construction phase itself is expected to create a surge in employment opportunities. Thousands of jobs could be on the horizon, providing a much needed boost to local economies and infrastructure development. Now, let's pivot to the environment. Harnessing the power of the Congo River through the mega dam is a green energy solution reducing reliance on fossil fuels and helping to combat climate change. However, the project is not without its environmental concerns. The dam's construction and the subsequent flooding could disrupt local ecosystems, impacting the diverse wildlife that calls the Congo River home. Furthermore, the potential displacement of communities living around the construction site is a contentious issue. This brings us to the social challenges that the mega dam project faces. Balancing the needs of the country's development with the rights and well-being of its people is a delicate task that will require careful management and inclusive policy making. The mega dam project is a colossal endeavor fraught with complexities and controversies. It's a symbol of ambition and potential, but also a reminder of the intricate ethical environmental and social challenges that come with such large-scale initiatives. As we await the rise of this modern marvel, we are reminded of humanity's relentless pursuit of progress even in the face of daunting challenges. The tale of the Congo and its mega dam is a testament to the audacity of human ambition. We've journeyed through the intricate tapestry of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and its awe-inspiring Congo River, a waterway that boasts an unrivaled depth and a discharge that puts many of the world's most recognized rivers to shame. We've delved into the ambitious project of constructing a mega dam, a gargantuan feat of engineering that would sit atop the mighty Inga Falls. This structure, priced at an astounding $80 billion, would not only be the largest of its kind on the planet, but also a beacon of hope and progress for a nation that's often overlooked on the global stage. We've explored the potential impacts of this monumental project, both positive and negative. On one hand, the dam could provide a significant boost to the country's economy and offer a reliable source of clean, renewable energy for nearly half a continent. On the other hand, it's impossible to ignore the potential environmental implications and the displacement of local communities. 
But isn't that the very essence of progress? It's a delicate dance between forging ahead and preserving what's already there. It's the constant tug of war between innovation and conservation, and this mega dam is no different. The Democratic Republic of the Congo stands at the precipice of change. This mega dam could very well alter the trajectory of the nation and the lives of its 95 million residents. It's a testament to the boundless potential of human ingenuity and a stark reminder of the responsibilities that come with such power. As we keep our eyes on the horizon, we eagerly anticipate the rise of the Congo's megadam, a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition.